Hey guys, it's Weo here and um, this is going to be the first video of my new channel. I just wanted to start off by making a few videos about my uni experience and getting into uni and so on. Just to provide some information for those who are going to uni or just if anybody's interested in watching these videos. So um, make sure to like and subscribe if you like the content. Um, so yeah, my name is Joshua Weo. I'm 20 years old um, and I currently go to University College London. Um, I just wanted to talk about like sort of how I how I got into uni and um, what my options were. I applied for UCL in November 2015. For sixth form, I studied Business BTEC, which was a triple award, and I also studied Media Studies. Um, so for UCL, I really wanted to study Business or computer science or something that had a mix between IT and business something like that because I'm very interested in both the perfect fit for that was ITMB or IMB which is information technology management business so I ended up applying for information management for business at UCL which is currently what I study at UCL the stigma around BTECs aren't great um, because you know they're not seen as uh, as good enough for for universities of UCL's calibre or Oxbridge or whatnot but I decided when picking my A-levels I'd pick it anyway and I was fortunate enough to find that UCL accepted BTEX for information management for business so I ended up picking that and their requirements were distinction 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 which is equivalent to three A's that's what I had to aim for so in November 2015 I applied for that position well not for that position sorry for UCL I was so set on UCL like so so set it was my firm choice and my insurance was Goldsmiths I had other unis maybe Brunel maybe Westminster some other places but UCL I was completely set on like the whole time I was on the student room searching asking people how UCL was blah 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 I applied in November 2015. Two of my friends here back from UCL within the first two weeks of November. Just the months go by, you know, November, December, January, February, March. And by March, I had basically finished my business BTEC, so I knew what grade I was going to get. Um, I more or less had distinctions across every unit I, I took. And basically there's 18 units, 18 assignments that you take across the year. It's just constant work. And I got distinctions in every one, which results in three distinction stars. So I thought I, I might have a good chance, even though obviously other people study qualifications that are regarded as higher uh, than BTECs. In March, at the end of March in 2016, I was in home base. That's where I worked at the time, um, working in home base whilst doing sixth form the worst years I, I hope to never have to work there ever again but I was working in home base and I got the email from UCAS saying that regrettably we're sorry you didn't get into UCL due to the course being oversubscribed and whatnot and I was completely distraught like my shift just went to just I was just walking around aimlessly <laughs> on the shop floor because I was just so sad and so angry and so annoyed but then I was like, you know what, like, I, I'm going to find a way to get in. Like, I need to get into UCL. So I was still incredibly set. So I looked at my options and I found UCAS Adjustment, which is a service that allows you to apply for courses at universities after results day if you exceed the grade requirements for that course. So, for example, IMB at UCL required three distinctions. I had achieved three distinction stars so to be able to apply for that course if it was put on UCAS adjustment you need to exceed every single grade so I'd need to get three distinction stars which I did get unfortunately though for me UCL don't always do UCAS adjustment it's not something that all the universities do so when it came to results day I mean I had my media uh, my media studies exam on uh, June the 8th of 2016 I remember taking that exam and um, on results day, as soon as I woke up, I went to school, you know, I got my results, I opened it. Um, I got three distinction stars in business and a B in media studies. I should have done better in media studies, to be honest. But um, I wasn't even, I wasn't even like happy, really. I was just relieved. And then I was just set on calling UCL to find out if they had any courses on UCAS adjustment or if IMB was. 
So I called them directly after I got my results. I didn't hang around. I went and went outside of the school gates, called UCL and asked what courses they had. And they told me, unluckily, that they had only two courses on UCAS adjustment that year, urban planning, design management and real estate. And I was just like, I do not want to do any of those at all. But somebody really helpful who who became my lecturer um, gave me some good advice. So I ended up um, basically deciding that I was going to take that offer and go for urban planning design management as they also accepted BTECs and I also exceeded the requirements. So I told, I called UCL and told them um, I'm trying to apply through UCAS adjustment. Um, do you have places on urban planning? She said, okay, sure. We're going to make sure your grades are okay and check your, your sort of your records and stuff. And we'll get back to you in two hours. Two hours later, I got the call saying that I had been accepted into urban planning and I was so happy, so, so happy. But of course it still wasn't, you know, still wasn't the course I wanted to do. But I was just so ec ecstatic that I even got into UCL somehow. It was a backdoor route, but I managed to do it. So first, as soon as UCL started, I met some cool people, you know. And during the first week, I had done my first urban planning lecture and I absolutely hated it. That just emphasized that, like, I have no creative bones in my body. Like, I'm just not a creative person. It definitely wasn't for me. Not like I was planning to stick on urban planning anyway but like <laughs> it was just so bad I was just like I need to switch to IMB now and I had searched online how easy how easy it is to switch courses and there were mixed there were mixed opinions some people were saying it's really easy some people were saying it's quite hard to switch courses at university but I inquired about switching on to IMB and I was ripped apart <laughs> um, I had a meeting basically and they went over my grades um, from GCSE, they went that far back, and my A-levels, um, and the guy was just like, oh, like, your GCSEs are just rubbish, like, they weren't good, to be fair, they were, but <laughs> I'm sure you could have been nicer, but yeah, um, but yeah, so he told me my GCSEs were, weren't good, and like, why do you want to get into UCL, why do you think you're good enough for IMB, blah, 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 at the end of the, the meeting slash interview, he gave me a two week trial period. He basically let me try out the course. So I stopped doing urban planning and started doing IMB. Um, and I just, I, I loved it from, from the second, or at least compared to urban planning, I really liked it. Um, I had already done the first coursework as well um, during the two week trial period. So I did my first coursework, got a 2-1, which was great. And then I'm in Nando's one day and I just get an email saying, you can't remain on IMB, you must, like, you, you need to go back to your course, and I was just like, what the hell, how many L's can I take in one year, I was so pissed off, I just, like, when I got home after Nando's, I just got the laptop out, and just wrote an email to the engineering faculty, um, head, um, I was just so, so angry. I was like, no, like, how can you do this? Like, I've got, like, I, I've shown that, you know, like, I'm good enough for IMB. Like, I got to do one of my first coursework. I can't just go back to urban planning. Like, I've missed two weeks. And um, then the engineering faculty head had a meeting with uh, the head of the School of Management, <clears throat> which is my direct uh, department for business. And then they finally decided they'd approve my, my transfer. So that was my first four weeks of UCL and that's how I got into UCL. So <laughs> it was a very backdoor route. But um, what I'd say is um, for anyone who's who's going to uni or set on a certain university, you know, just go for it. Like, um, put, like really put your energy into it. Like, don't back down. Like, if you, if you want to go somewhere and you want to do a certain course, just go for it. Um, explore all your options, you know, and um, yeah. But... Um, even though I got in, you know, the course, the course is, you know, I have, I like it and I don't in some ways, but that's for another video. But um, yeah, um, thank you very much for watching. That was just a little video on my pre-uni experience and sort of how I got in. And um, yeah, um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you like this video. Um, please like, subscribe and comment. And yeah, I'll see you on the next one.